Hi guys, and welcome to The Colorful Gardener. My name is Josh, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool drip pot. If you're new here, go ahead and consider subscribing and liking this video. And I made one of these a couple years ago. This was the first one I ever made. I made this about three years ago and I absolutely love it. It's my most asked about pot in my garden. I love these stripes as it goes up the clay pot and I love this green and blue and, and dark gray. It goes really well with this pencil cactus. By the way, I love the color on here, this wonderful yellows and greens and blues. It's such a vibrant pot. I think it's gonna look really well with these other pots. I wanna show you guys how to make your own drip pot. Okay guys, so I have primed this pot with exterior pr paint primer and this is to A, help the paint attach itself better to this clay pot. And also, uh, I primed the inside of it and this is to help water not be absorbed into this clay pot which will cause bubbles to appear in your paint and that will distort the look you're going for. So I'm gonna head outside now and I'm gonna start painting this pot. A uh, blue, this is a wonderful blue. Uh, it's called Summer Basket Green. Make sure you shake up your can very well before using it. This is the first coat that I wanna use. I wanna make sure I get full coverage with this paint. And you can see that I have the pot on top of these pieces of wood. So if there's any drips, they're gonna drip right down to the wood on the bottom. Okay guys, so I'm bringing the party inside because it looks like it's gonna start raining again. And so we're gonna just finish this inside. Uh, so I have painted the first coat in blue. Love this shade of blue, it's very Easter egg. And then the inside I primed it so the water doesn't soak too easily into the pot. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a beautiful green. I'm gonna do, this is the fun part, guys. This is the part where I'm gonna start dripping the pot down. And this is a lot easier if you don't have a dog <laughs> hanging around you. Uh, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So again, shake that can up. Make it so all the colors are vibrant and bright. Oh, look at that green, so vibrant. So what I'm using is a smaller paintbrush for this part because if you use a bigger paintbrush, it's just gonna get messy and you're not gonna get the desired drips that you want down the side of your pot. So with a smaller paintbrush, you can use more precision uh, in the placement of where you want things to appear. So just gonna dip it in here. Ah, love that green. So I'm just gonna start at the top, make sure that it's a nice coverage. By getting the top part nice and covered, you can see how well this shade of, of any color will cover your pot. Some uh, paints will cover thickly and some won't, so you have to keep an eye on that to see. This one, mm, it's a little iffy, it could, you could see through it, so I'm gonna use heavy amounts of this paint to make sure that I get the consistency I want of the dripping. So, here we go. So what I like to do, my way of doing it is I like to first go about three inches to two inches around the top of the pot first. And again, I'm resting this pot on top of two pieces of wood. So when the paint drips, it doesn't just sit on the bottom of this wood and it will cause it to glue itself down to this bottom piece of wood. By having two pieces of wood, it can drip down past it um, into the bottom piece. So I've got about two inches painted around the rim top part of the pot. So what I'm gonna do now is now I'm just gonna go a big dollop, dollop of paint and we're just gonna go right down the side of it like that. That's it. You don't wanna do anything else to it. You don't wanna vibrate it. You don't wanna to try to put more paint on it. It's just gonna distort the look you're going for. So get another big 
dollop of paint. And if it gets some on the side of the pot, that's okay. Don't freak out, it'll just make a bigger mess. Just set, have a, have a piece of napkin. Just gonna move the pot around so you guys can see. Again, taking big dollops of the paint and just putting it right above the area where you painted the two inches down. Take your time with this. There's no rush. It's just kind of fun to watch the paint drip down the side of this and uh, see what it's going to look like. If you're not getting the length of drip that you want, make sure you're putting extra bits of paint on your paintbrush. The paint is drying right now, so I'm gonna wait about an hour to let this all dry. And as you can see around the top part, there is some blue that's coming through that green. So after this dries, I'm gonna come through and just paint around that top part to make sure I get good coverage. I don't wanna see any uh, blue coming through that green. So I'll come back in an hour and I'll repaint this top part. I wouldn't try to do any more drips. You know, let this be the one coat that you need and we'll do the third color after this green has dried. But uh, I'm already really loving the color combination with this green and blue. So we're gonna wait an hour and we'll come back and we're gonna do that third coat. Okay guys, so we've got this second coat on. It's nice and dry. And so I love this color with this blue. So now we're gonna do an even brighter color. We're gonna do a yellow. And this yellow is called lemon. So make sure you shake up that paint can real well before you use it. Oh, look at that yellow. Just like the other one, the other uh, color I dripped onto this pot, you're gonna start from the top Get a nice coat on. And this time I'm just gonna do about an inch from the bottom of the pot. And I'm just gonna start dripping down the side of it, just like I did with the other green, with the green paint. Do big dollops of the paint and we're just gonna go down the side of it. And what I've learned, it's actually easier to move these pieces of wood without actually trying to touch these pots because you can leave some paint smudges on here. So it's just actually a lot easier to have two pieces of wood under the bottom of the pot so you can just move it around the way you want. Okay, so this has set and I'm really already loving the colors. I didn't think I was gonna like it a lot, but I do love this yellow and green and blue combination. So I'm gonna let this yellow paint dry for about an hour, and then I'm gonna come back, and then I'm just gonna repaint the top so I can get extra good coverage. Okay guys, so I am done painting. I love this pot. I think it's so brilliant. Look at all these bright colors going on with this. Love the blue and the yellow and green. So I didn't think I really liked this color combination, but I'm actually really ecstatic about this. Um, love these blues and yellows and these greens. These are great for someone who has a, a, a bright personality. This would make a great gift. Or if you have a bunch of pots that are green and blue, this would go really well with them, especially my pots. A lot of my pots are green and blue. So I, I'm really excited about putting these out in the garden. Uh, so I'm on the final step. I know it's been a, it's taken a minute, but we're on the final step now. Okay, so now that we've got the paint colors we want, you need to put a protective coat around this pot. So 
when the rain comes and it gets really hot and anything that could damage the pot, this will protect it. So what I have here is Old Masters Spar Marine Finish. And this is an exterior oil-based spray. You can find this in a paint can or you can get this in a spray bottle like this. I prefer to like in a spray can like this. My older pot, I did not use anything like uh, any protectant spray on it. And um, I think it would last much longer if I had this nice varnish spray on it. So I'm gonna take this outside. Make sure you do this outside. Don't ever do this inside. This is very gassy, uh, this spray can. Maybe do it in your garage with the door open. Um, but I'm gonna do this outside and we're gonna let this sit for 24 hours. If you wanna take your time with this step, don't rush it. Just if you're unsure, take your finger and touch the side of it. If it feels sticky, then that means it's not done drying. It's still curing. So what I'll do is I'll spray it outside and once I'm done spraying it, I'll put it in my sunroom here and let it sit for 24 hours. Okay guys, so we have the finished product. I absolutely love this drip pot. I think it is so cool and unique. I'm loving the colors. I think it turned out really well. Um, this is probably my new favorite drip pot. I can't wait to put a plant inside of it and see how it's gonna look. I'm thinking about this Crinum Baby Burgundy to put in here. I think it'll look really well with these colors, this dark foliage and this bright green pot. And I got so excited about making this pot I ended up actually making another one so this cauldron pot we actually found on the side of the road and we picked it up and it was just a, a dingy clay pot and I it wasn't really crazy about it so I painted this dark blue and did I dripped some tan paint on the side of this and I absolutely love the color combination now this beautiful blue and tan colors and it's such a unique pot now I can't wait to put a plant inside of it I also made this one so cool with pinks and grays this small one which has this beautiful orchid in here. I love the blues and tan in here. This one, it's a nice peach with purple and it's got a beautiful, beautiful Aurelia Sun King in here. And then this really small one, this beautiful little four inch pot, clay pot. All of these are clay pots, by the way. I wanted, you know, I, I was kind of bored looking at brown dingy clay pots and I wanted to paint them up add some color to them, add some interest for my seating area. And you know, you can of course just paint them, but why not just take it up a step and do some cool drip pot colors on them. I think uh, by having these drip pots, it really adds interest to your pot, your plant collection around the seating area, the deck area, anywhere really where you put these, your eyes are gonna be instantly drawn to them. Also hit 100 subscriber mark, can you believe it? Uh, I've been doing this since March and I can't believe I already hit 100 subscribers. Let's get to 500 subscribers. Um, I'm happy you guys are loving these videos. Thank you guys for watching this drip pot tutorial. I hope this has been informative and helped you get your deck area looking more colorful. Um, this is The Colorful Gardener. My name is Josh. If you're new here, go ahead and consider subscribing and liking this video. I'll see you guys in the next gardening tutorial video.